Hey guys, Movie Junkie for Life here, and this is my review of Rogue One, a Star Wars story or something like that, but it's Rogue One. And this is directed by Garth Edwards, and it also stars a bunch of people, Felicity Jones, Mads Mikkelsen, uh, Forrest Whitaker, um, we have Riz Ahmed, we have Donnie Yen, Wing Zhang, uh, Diego Luna, a bunch of people in this, a bunch of recognizable faces, right? even though you don't know their names. And the story is a story that all Star Wars fans would be familiar with. It's a story of a group of rebels that get together to steal the plans for the De Death Star. But this is so much more than that, guys. I am so happy to see that everything I was hoping Rogue One would be, Rogue One is. This movie is what a movie like this is supposed to be. It's epic, it's memorable, and it's going to be one for the ages. So let's get into it. And I wanted to start with the visuals. Visually, Star Trek has always been one of those movies that captured imagination. It's always been one of those movies that managed to bring something new, or it feels new, to the table every single time. And one of the things I really, really loved about this movie is that as a fan of Star Wars, even though you would recognize a bunch of what you were seeing, it still felt new, it still felt original. They introduced enough in terms of stormtrooper armor, in terms of locations and stuff like that, to make this feel like something new. So it didn't feel rehashed, you know, which I will get into a little bit with A Force Awakens. It didn't feel rehashed, it didn't feel like it was they were just paying fan service, even though there is that in here, right? Um, it felt like something that a first timer could enjoy just visually you know it was all there and it was stunning to behold i love the different planet locations a lot i they, they did kind of introduce you to a lot of planets in the beginning you had to kind of keep up with the names and remembering where these places are but at the same time everything felt like its own planet everything felt new yet you could tell where it was uh supported by previous star wars movies that came before so visually this movie is amazing the 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 final 15 minutes of this movie is oh my god it's it, it, it came to life it was a visual feast for the eyes you had fighters in the air you had men on the ground it was amazing to behold it was just so much to see and it was never boring even in quiet moments even in moments where it was just a few of the characters talking together on a ship or on a planet you could look in the background you could look at their clothing and there was always something there something new to discover or even something old to remember so i i really got a kick out of that the soundtrack for this movie is amazing i kept coming back to the soundtrack while i was watching it i actually sat down through the entire credits just to listen to the soundtrack a bit more because i knew there was nothing after the credits they don't really do that but the music is just so amazing. It comes, again, John Williams is a genius here. And, you know, the composers, everybody else who must have been involved with putting together this soundtrack. And, again, bringing up nostalgic memories for those who love this uh, franchise. Yet, everything felt a little bit different and a little bit newer to what you recognized before. So, you know, there is, you're, you're remembering the good stuff. But you're getting something new there and I, I'll keep coming back to that a lot guys because this is what Gareth Edwards uh, the director of this movie managed to do he's also the director of a little known film called monsters which you should really check out if you get a chance and of course Godzilla from I think last year or the year before he did that as well and what he has managed to do with Rogue One is astounding it, it really is amazing he did not just appeal to old fans it that is there for sure but I think in the process he's gonna pull in a lot of new fans with this movie because it takes me now to the well let me get into the acting the actors here Wow I mean the I mean Force Awakens was good but Force Awakens felt like everything you had seen before wrapped in a new package and presented to you and while i am not going to pretend i didn't enjoy force awakens i enjoyed that movie a lot 
The fact is that movie was a lot of the same. It was everything we had seen come before in Star Wars A New Hope and Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and those types of movies. We had seen all of that before. The journey in that movie is basically Luke's journey rehashed. This is not what this is. These actors managed to take these characters and you in that two and a half hour time span fall in love with each and every single one of them. There was no one character here that I threw by the wayside. This entire group, I can't remember all of their names, but Jin Erso, uh, Captain Andor, K2SO, who I'm so in love with. Uh, he's so awesome. Alan Tudyk did a, an amazing job with his voice work. Um, uh, Shiro, um, I'm sorry, I don't remember all their names, but everybody here did such wonderful work with their characters, and you could feel that these actors put everything in there into these characters, that the loss of any one of these people was shattering it was it made you so much more invested in what they had to do and in the perilous journey they t took on to get these death star plans even the villains felt fleshed out it wasn't just a big scary guy in a suit or this guy is wears black robes so he's the bad guy the villains felt fleshed out um ben Mathelson, I believe is his name. Um, he did a great job as that that evil, you know, general who he's just his ambition rules all inside him. You knew what was driving him. You knew he had a purpose. He wasn't just evil for evil's sake. You know, they even I'm sorry, they CGI'd Peter Cushing back into this movie. And yes, you could tell, but it looked so good that it felt he felt otherworldly that's the best way i can put it it felt like what you were seeing was something otherworldly and it works so that works here you know granted it was no it wasn't as good as michael douglas cgi in um in uh ant-man but it was really good you know and things like that it, it was amazing and even the characters that we know like darth vader we saw him in a much more terrifying light. It, it was the Darth Vader that now you understand why everybody fears this Sith Lord above all because he was terrifying in this. I wish we had more screen time with him, um, but I guess they know what they're doing. They, they, the journey of these characters, the rebels, is what's important. So that's what they focused on. So the acting here was just superb i really didn't have any issue with anybody even forrest whitaker's car character uh oh my gosh i can't remember his name sin or something like that uh, sin some, something long like that i will put it on the screen he even though he was doing his forrest whitaker type thing you know you understood why because of the journey the character had been through and the stuff that has happened to him physically so you kind of get why he was talking that way it worked for me it worked and big huge props to felicity jones as jen urso because she took a character that could have been comparatively very similar to uh, uh sorry ray and she made this her own character she made this something original something that stands out she was amazing here i am really glad to see what she did with this character so Props to everybody on the on, on an acting scale. Ocean and thrills and suspense. Guys, the last 15, 20 minutes of this movie, it's not like the rest of the movie isn't great. It is. But those last 15, 20 minutes are gonna hit you and have you on an emotional roller coaster because I'm not gonna get into any details, I promise. But oh my gosh, I sat there, I don't think I blinked. I don't think I was breathing properly. It was so much more than I have ever gotten. I think the closest for me, honestly, was Empire Strikes Back. It is my favorite Star Wars movie of all time, and that is that is one that is the one Star Wars movie for me that really hit all those dramatic beats and all those emotional beats. This movie, Rogue One, did that. Rogue One took me on a roller coaster ride of emotion and again it's the acting it's the visuals it's the soundtrack it all comes into play in this moment 
everything that we've been watching culminates in this moment and it's amazing this story here it's not hard to follow it's not complicated sometimes these stories feel like i like for instance the first three star wars movies or um, whatever we won't get into it too much because everybody who's seen them knows the mess that they are and how convoluted they feel at times this is not that this is a cohesive story it's not complicated and granted if you're not a fan of star wars if you went to see rogue one knowing nothing at all about star wars you are gonna feel lost at times there are those moments because again it does fit into the entire narrative of the star wars universe so there are gonna be those moments where you're gonna ask yourself well why are they doing this and who is that and that sort of thing but for the fans of the series and let's face it this is this movie is for star wars fans while it is of course to gain new fans it is for star wars fans so it fits so perfectly it was almost like a missing puzzle piece into this entire world you know i, I guess if you could if you look at it it's now going to be chapter four in the star wars legacy it's going to be rogue one now it's not going to be new hope so this for me worked so well it answered questions it answered questions i didn't even know i had honestly it was just perfect in that response so yes while i admit the the only con is really the fact that people who are do not follow star wars closely or you have not seen the other movies are gonna feel a bit lost at times for fans it's gonna work it's definitely it works it's not that it's, it's it works it's it fits in perfectly so i think they did a fantastic job with the writing they really Again, I always come, I come back to this again where I'm saying that it felt new, but it felt like something you'd been through before. You know, it was deja vu, but not in a, not in a bad way. It did not feel rehashed like Force Awakens. It was a chapter that we never knew we wanted to see. We never knew was missing. And um, overall guys i am so happy that this movie turned out the way it did i was so i don't know something about this movie i kept saying to friends and to um on my movie page that this was the one that i felt was gonna be the definitive star wars movie and i feel like gareth edwards and the entire team responsible for rogue one manages that i think they hit it out the park i think this is gonna be one of those Star Wars movies that you're gonna put on and watch at least once a year over and over again. I think it's gonna be so much more uh, memorable than Force Awakens in, in, in 10, 15 years from now. It's going to be your Empire Strikes Back. It's going to be whichever is your favorite episode. Empire happens to be mine. But I'm happy to say that right now, Rogue One is tied with Empire Strikes Back for me as my definitive Star Wars movies. This movie really, really did an amazing job. And granted, I've only seen it once. And we, with these huge scale blockbuster films, if you don't see them more than once, there, there it probably will be stuff that you see on multiple viewings that won't hold up as well or you'll find plot holes. But in this moment, I saw it last night at the IMAX and I recommend if you can't see this at IMAX, holy crap, you need to see this at IMAX, right? They, it was built for these cameras. I think it was shot with IMAX cameras. So you definitely should check it out there if you can. But no matter how you see this movie, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're a sci-fi fan, definitely go see Rogue One. You will be doing yourself a major, major service by checking out this movie because it's not just an excellent Star Wars movie. It's an excellent movie. We don't usually get blockbuster movies that, I mean, this year we had a lot of blockbusters, but how many of them can we say were truly memorable, were truly epic? This one is. So guys, Rogue One is for me going to be a strong nine out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. And like I said, the only thing I can find to say is that if you're not a Star Wars fan, some of this stuff is not going to make any sense to you. But other than that, I cannot find any real faults with this movie because I personally enjoyed the hell out of it. So 
Rogue One, A Star Wars Story gets a 9 out of 10. And that's going to be it, guys. I think the only other big movie we have coming out this year is Assassin's Creed. Everybody was smart enough not to release anything this week. Nobody wanted to go up against Rogue One, rightfully so. So hopefully we'll have that up for you guys. And all the best for the season. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Merry Christmas. All of that stuff. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.